I'm back again at the same place, different time, my dear friends. I hope you are doing all right around the world. Subscribe, yes, to Isaac Football Club. Hit that notification bell. It's time, it's time to continue where we left off yesterday. Mm -hmm. I got a new channel down in the description. Go check it out. It's a new channel and yeah. Another journey over there, going into the Scottish Highlands, see what uh, Scotland is. I love Scotland. I am so drawn to Scotland, you know. I'm planning to go back there again, just for a trip, of course, to go back to uh, London too. Let's see what's going to happen in the next few years from now. Yeah, good stuff. As I said, I love Scotland. But go check out the new channel. There's a video there I posted. You know, there's other videos of my uh, my wife. She does the other videos, but we have started doing different topic on that. Very interesting. If you love nature, you like it. Yeah. Thank you. Now, Chelsea news. What is happening on this morning? Let's get into this straightforward. Napoli are ready to lower their initial variation for Victor Oshman from his 150 million release cranes to 100 million to free up much needed transfer fund. For new boss Antonio Conte, who is understood to be desperate to land Chelsea striker Romeo Lukaku this summer. Breaking Napoli has reduced Oshman's price. Oshman, okay. Price tag in hopes of uh, lowering clubs like Chelsea to make a bid for the Nigerian striker. The club is hoping for a swipe deal with Lukaku, with Chelsea paying a fee with Lukaku. Antonio Kante still wants Romeo Lukaku. If you want Lukaku, come just get him right now and give a fist Victor Oshman. <laughs> <laughs> I almost lost his name in my in my mouth. If you want to do that, honestly, I am tired of this news of Victor Oshman. I've been hearing this news over a year now. It's it's been one year. Yeah, we've been hearing Victor Oshman this Victor Oshman. And look, this is the journalist. They're giving us this news like this. You know, they changed it, and this news today we receive. You're gonna hear. Later on, different news. Ah, uh, Chelsea, they are not going to swipe a deal with uh, Napoli because Victor Oshman is too expensive. Android is too expensive. They lower to Android. If it's true, if these journalists are giving us a, good, a, a true news, Napoli, they lower to 100 million, the risk cranes, from 150 to 100 million. That is very huge. That is very huge. And I think Arsenal, they're going to do that. They're going to buy that. They're going to pay his release claims. I, I have a feeling. I don't think Chelsea, they want to do that. You know why? Victor Oshman, if he, if he comes to Chelsea, is expected to earn more money. And Chelsea, we don't want to pay 150 million to a player. They believe that is going to cause problem to other players. And yes, it will cause problem to other players because some players are getting paid 100 million per week. Some players are getting, they're getting paid 86 million pound per week and that's not enough so yeah it's gonna go to cause a problem so Oshman to Chelsea I'm, I'm not I don't think it's gonna happen but as I said 100 million from 150 release screens to 100 that is huge I see Arsenal all over this deal I see Arsenal all over this deal and if Arsenal gets Oshman next season it's gonna be very very interesting on the Premier League uh, title race. This is Manchester City over there, you know? Yeah, let's see what's gonna happen. Victor Oshman, it looks like uh, they are lowering the price. So, yeah, let's see. Let me know down in the comment, what do you think about that? Now let's continue with this guy I talked uh, about yesterday. There's a, a new update. It's a young striker, Chelsea, they wanna sign from Barcelona, yeah. Chelsea recruitment team have identified that Mike Gooey, 20, 2006, will become a great striker in the next years. Crane's 16, $6 million is considered an opportunity. Gooey could be signed by Chelsea then initially. They will choose the best path for his growth. But the club 
firmly believe in his abilities. Barcelona have offered a new deal, but next hour, a key move to Chelsea or sign a new deal at Barcelona. This would be fantastic if you sign a deal at Barcelona. I'm just saying, I'm against with the young striker. That I'm against. We need to get experience. So if these players are just said, no, 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 I'll be happy. Maybe Chelsea, they realize something. Okay, we need to do this. Because we got Nicholas Jackson already. Nicholas Jackson need someone to teach him experience. We got that guy already. And it's not very bad striker, Nicholas Jackson. He just need a mentor, experience beside him. More on Matt Gooey. Contract proposal for being sent for Chelsea, not for Strobeck as things stand. The project presented to Gooey is at Chelsea. Chelsea want to pay six million cranes and get it done soon. Of course, Chelsea want that very soon. They don't want disturbing, you know. If when it when it comes to young players, Chelsea they are very uh what what can I say? You know, they are very in hurry. They don't want to waste time because they're scared he's going to sign a contract or somebody's going to come in. They are very, you know, like this, shaking. We want him, we want him. Some, some, so much, so much. Crazy things. Man United want Alan Asemino and could get into a fight with Chelsea over him. Boca is analyzing Chelsea's offer at the moment. This is another one, another kid, Chelsea. They want... Him, but it looks like Man United they are they want to get into a fight with Chelsea. Go on, get into the fight. You know, at this point, I just don't care. <laughs> you know, this young kids is too much for young kids. It's too much, but it's never too much for Chelsea. It's gonna be every single time, every single day for Chelsea. It's never too much for them. Now, Bruno, check out this Newcastle midfield. Bruno Gomez release cranes worth 100 million into his contract at Newcastle will expire tonight at 23:59 p.m. UK time. Oh oh. <laughs> oh oh. This is sad. I think Newcastle they have they fry this one. They fry it away. I think they did, you know. 100 million. It is some people they are saying he deserve 100 million. I don't think he deserves 100 million. Not everybody deserves 100 million. I gotta be honest. Not every player in this planet deserves 100 million. It's just the business in football has gone so bad. You know, it's unbelievable. It's not long ago when you look in the back, 2007, 8, 9. When, let's start from 2005. You start 5, 6, 7, 8 from there. The transfer window was so good. You can sign a player for 7 million, a great player. <laughs> a good, good player, like magnificent player, you can sign him for 20 million. That is a crab record if you sign a 20 million player. The football way it's going, man, it's incredible. You know, now we can sign a player for 300 million. We can, we, you can even sign Mbappe if Mbappe was available. You know, at Real Madrid, Real Madrid they just decided to sell Mbappe, for example, right? And they got somebody else more than Mbappe. It can easily go to Saudi for four something pounds. You know, that's a crazy, crazy thing that is in the football world right now. It's not good. It's not, it's not good. And the way football is heading is just terrible. It's terrible. You know? Yeah, let me down in the comment. What do you think about everything we discussed today, guys? And uh, Bruno, 100 million is going to be expired tonight. And I think Manchester City is going to get advantage on that. Yeah. Maybe. 80, 60 million, maybe. Somewhere there. Let's see what's going to happen. Huh. Let me know down about... Um, Chelsea, what do you think about the striker situation? We're not getting an experienced striker. We're still looking to get a young striker, 19, 20, 21 year old people. Are still, you know, they believe, Chelsea themselves, they believe Nicholas Jackson, he has experience, he's enough. You know, they want to get somebody lower to Nicholas Jackson. <laughs> That's Chelsea plans. They don't want to get in someone who's experienced who's been there up top there, they don't want to do that. They want to get somebody lower than Nicholas Jackson. You can cry. You can cry. If you don't want to cry, you just have to laugh. Just like I am laughing. 
he can cry absolutely anyway the last one the last one check out this Blake and Kimmich will only coincide signing with those top clubs either now or in 2025 Rio Madrid Barcelona Manchester City Liverpool Arsenal of course he wants the Champions League football if he if if he decide to leave those are the clubs he could he could uh, want to sign in look mate not Arsenal <laughs> not Arsenal you, you're not sure on Arsenal you know you are not sure Arsenal they're not terrible football club Arsenal they're just now developing they're getting to that gear you know the the, the gear of uh, successful they're just getting there they just need something to click in their team and then they're gonna start winning trophies but as a, as a Chelsea fan do I want them to win trophies hell no 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 Chelsea fan want Arsenal to win any trophy that's a crime but I'm talking about as, as, as a football fan at the football level Arsenal they're a very good team and very scary next season but Manchester City they're always good they always got plans they always got A up to Z what to do they're an incredible team too so next season is going to be very interesting and uh, pre-season in USA I will try to go one of the game I think Manchester City or Lee or um, or Real Madrid, this is Chelsea. Real, uh, City, this is Chelsea. I will try to go to one of those games. It's just right here at the border. Yeah, so let's see what's going to happen. I will see you soon. Have a lovely day. And subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Hit that notification bell. You don't have to miss all the dreams. I will see you soon. God bless.